A woman at Langley had one dying wish this holiday season to live long enough to hold her newborn baby. That dream did come true on Christmas Day, giving birth to a baby boy. But now the courageous new mom has lost her battle with cancer. Here's CTV's Michelle Bernaro. Her name was Brianne Smallslet, and her story is one of love and loss, of a mother's courage and of new beginnings. When you see the we met the 22-year-old a couple days before Christmas in the palliative yes. care unit at Surrey Memorial. When I was growing up, I always had leg pains, and we never really knew what it was, but I always knew something was wrong. About four years ago, she was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. A tumor in her leg was removed, but the cancer had already spread. And every time I went to the doctor, it just went downhill. She wanted to be alone, but then Adam Smallslet came into her life. I was so sick and he just loved me so much. Though it wasn't planned, she became pregnant. Brianne and Adam married in September, then he suddenly died last month. <laughs> we don't know what from yet. I miss him so much. He was the love of my life. Nice, loud, strong heartbeat. Grieving her husband's death, Brianne fought to stay alive so the tiny unborn baby growing inside her would have the best chance at life. It's just time to be strong for um, our little boy. And Having a child was her dream. I've always wanted to be a mom growing up my whole life. Her Christmas wish was to hold her baby before she died. In the early morning hours of December 25th, little Salvatore, or Sal, was born. Get this look at him, he's beautiful, Brianne. She got to hold him and see him, and we're so happy that she was able to do that. Though Sal weighs just one pound nine ounces, his great aunt says he is doing well. They call him the miracle baby. Brianne always knew that when Sal was born, her days here would be almost over. It just makes me upset that I can't actually be a mom, but I know my baby will be in great hands when the time comes. That time came at six this morning when Brianne died, her family at her side. But Brianne's story does not end here, her legacy and love to live on in her tiny baby boy.